Do you know the camera cables that probably you ignore in your installations? We can create very cool projects with them. In this hands-on project, we will create a perimeter camera protection to exemplify how we can use the camera's input and output alarms. I am Marcelo from Security Systems Center channel that brings you valuable information about video surveillance, access control and intrusion. This is a video from our hands-on project, where we do projects from the scratch. So sit tight and join me on this. The idea here is to help you to understand how you can use the camera's alarm input and output in your project. It can be very useful for small implementations like this one, where we will build a perimeter camera protection. The idea is to create a standalone alarm system that will help to protect your external cameras from someone that comes from the camera's blind spot. And to simulate a perimeter camera, we will trigger a siren when we detect a person in the camera's video analytic. We could create a smart lighting system where we can light up a reflector when a person comes by in the scene, not only movements like standard motion detection, people count alarms and much more. So let's start our project. So in the planning part, let's reveal the items that we use in this project. One IP camera with input and output alarm, one siren or strobe, one motion sensor, and one auxiliary power supply. To size the power supply, let's check the siren and motion sensor power spec. In this project, the camera will be powered by a POV. It's important to check the camera's output relay spec if it will be able to handle the power when activate the siren. So with all equipment selected, let's review the wiring diagram. Okay, so let's tie everything together now. First, let's connect the auxiliary power supply in the motion sensor and in the siren. Quick check here. Yep, it's working.
Now, let's connect the motion sensor alarm signal in the camera's input alarm. And the last part, let's put the camera's alarm output relay in one of the wires that power the siren. This way, when this camera relay is activated, it will close the circuit and power the siren. Okay, so everything connected and tested, so let's go to the camera's web interface to do the configuration. This camera is being powered by a PoE by an embedded NVR simulating a real-life scenario. But you can have different setups like powered by a PoE switch or a auxiliary power supply. This NVR that I'm using, the camera interface is not visible to the NVR's external network. So you need to confirm if your NVR has the same limitation. Some models allow us to remotely open the camera's web interface after enabling a forwarding option. Some models we will only allow this access if you connect your computer in one of the internal PoE ports. Ok, in the camera web interface, we will configure three things. First is the input and output mode. Second, smart motion detection analytic. Third, events schedule. So the way to set these elements may vary depending on the camera's manufacturer that you are using. In the camera web interface, go to setup, alarm, event. Enable the alarm input, give the name motion sensor, for this camera model the normal closed option is the current mode low, enable the output channel 1. In the alarm output settings give the name siren, for normally open mode set the current signal to grounded, click save to apply. To set the Smart Motion Detection, go to the Video Analytic and Smart Motion Detection. In the settings, click in Enable, click in Limit Target Type, set the type to Person or Human, enable the Output Channel 1 and set the Detection Area. Click Save to apply. Depending on your project, you may want to enable this logic only in a specific period of time, 
like after hours. To configure this option, go to Alarm and Event, and in the Alarm Input, go to the Schedule section. Click in the Unarmed color and select the Work Hours. The selection will disable this logic in this specific time. Click Save to apply. And we can do the same logic for the video analytic trigger. Go into the video analytics, smart motion, and under the schedule section, click in the unarmed color and select the work hours. Okay guys, so let's start our test here. Uh, we will have our camera with the siren and the motion sensor so I will try to enter on this area and uh, and we will test if the video uh, analytic is working and triggering the siren and my second test will be going behind the camera and testing the motion sensor trigger okay so let's start Okay, so our first test here, let's check the camera's detection. So the camera is there. So let's go. So as you guys can see, the camera detect me and we have the siren. In here. So have the center. Okay, so let's test the motion sensor. The motion sensor, it's uh, we have a high range of detection, so I'm going a little bit far away here. So let's go. Okay, so as you guys can see. It's already started and triggered the, the siren. So as you guys saw, the project worked. So the siren went off when the video detection uh, analytic triggered my presence in the scene and when the motion sensor detected me behind the camera. So this is, of course, it's a, it's a, a simple example on how uh, the camera inputs and outputs alarms can work of course, we need a fine tune in the installation part and in the configuration as well. So the time that it will be triggered and, and etc. This may vary between the camera manufacturer, but you, the idea was to have this uh, understanding on how it works. So I hope this was uh, uh, useful for you. Done. Now you have a camera that will trigger the siren if a person is detected in the scene and if the motion sensor pointing to its blind spot is triggered, everything running locally independently of any other system. Do you like this project? Do you want more content like this? Write here in the comments below which application you will do with these elements and send me new ideas for other projects that we can do here together. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video.